Hi, I'm Laura Fish Rogers. I graduated from Mountain Union College in 1998. I have a degree in political science and economics. I was pre-law and now I'm the vice president of Universal Media Syndicate in Canton, Ohio. Hi, my name is Brad Taylor. I'm a criminalist at the Canton Stark County Crime Lab. I'm a graduate of Mount Union from 1993 with a major in chemistry, minor in biology. Hello, my name is Dan Griffith and I graduated from Mount Union in 1999. I'm an attorney at Black Pekuski Sowers and Arbaugh, which is a firm in Canton, Ohio. My name is Marissa Miller. I'm a 2006 graduate of Mount Union College with a degree in business administration and concentration in finance. I am now a financial analyst here at Almond Health Foundation in Canton, Ohio. I actually don't do what I study. However, I did an internship my senior year of college at an ad agency doing their political work and the political work only lasted for part of the semester and I had to do something for the rest of the semester so I worked with their media buying team which I found very interesting and ended up getting a job a couple weeks after college working at an ad agency here locally. I worked for there for several years and then went into Akron at another ad agency. Started at my current company about six years ago as media director and about two years ago was promoted to vice president and now have six other areas under my control. The one thing that I tell a lot of interns who come in and work for me is it's not always about what you studied in school, but about the thought processes and the logical steps that you learn during classes that will help you get where you need to go um, in your career. Yeah, I started as just a media buyer. I honestly had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And a lovely woman gave me the opportunity to learn and um, went from there and went into an agency and was working for some very large clients, nationwide and international clients, and um, came here and had about four people who worked underneath me. And now there are over 800 people in the company. Um, I have about 30 direct reports and then they trickle down from there. So the one thing that I always tell my staff and really anyone who comes into the facility is you have to be a problem solver. If you can't problem solve, it's going to make it very difficult to get anywhere in any position or any career field you choose to go into. And I always tell my staff, if you have a problem, you're human and that's going to happen. But when you come to my door, you better have a solution to go with that problem. might not be the right solution, but it's at least something that you've thought about and learn from your mistakes. You know, I, I was a, initially a math major, switched to a chemistry major. Um, while I, as a chemistry major, did an internship here. And that's what, that's what got me interested in, in forensics. Um, before then, I didn't really know. Mm -hmm. And um, after doing the internship, I decided that was something I'd really sort of like to do. So, I applied only to, in, to crime labs for a job afterward, and, and during that time there was an economic downturn, um, like there is now, and I didn't get a chance, you know, I didn't get hired, but I put a lot of resumes out, um, and then a couple years after graduating, I, I got a job as a environmental chemist, and, and you know, just to get a job in the field as, as a chemistry uh, major, and after a couple years as an environmental chemist, I um, took a position, well, actually I, I wanted to go back to school, as it was, doing what I wanted, I was going to go back to school for education, to teach, and I got a call from the Pittsburgh Crime Lab uh, to work in their forensic lab, and I had sent my resume out um, three, four years prior, and they were in a hiring freeze, and they started hiring again, and I took that position, and you know, it was what I wanted to do, I enjoyed it, and I, after being there for about eight months, I got a call from Kansas Crime Lab, and there was an opening, and I wanted to go back to a smaller lab, Pittsburgh was much larger, and uh, so I took that position and came back, came to Canton, where I, I knew the people, I knew the small lab, I get more variety in my work, uh, and so, I mean, that's how I ended up here. I went to uh, Mount Union knowing that I wanted to go to law school, and so I was able to get involved in various things throughout campus life that were al would allow me to improve on my uh, campus resume and get me into a law school experience. One of those things was uh, interning with Judge Clunk, who was the local probate court judge at the time. He was kind enough to offer me a position, and that was very helpful, not only in allowing me to start my experience, but also in allow putting me in a good position when I got back here to Canton 
to, uh, to get a job, which has been great too. We do internships here at the firm, but mostly only for law school students, but we always are looking to see what they did during their college experience uh, to improve themselves and make life better. I actually majored in political science, but had three different minors, one of which was geology, and a lot of times people joke about that. They say, how did geology help you in law school? But I think a varied uh, experience is really important for anybody who's going into any profession to get a different look at the world or to experience how different types of people look at the world is very, very important and it helped me a lot. In my job, I work with scientists or engineers or accountants a lot. They tend to look at the world a little differently than I do. And because of that, I think it's helpful to be able to relate to them and my minor that was a little different than not all the law school students that I were with that I was with in law school had uh, had geology experience. I think that was very helpful in that respect. Um, my biggest responsibility as a financial analyst is in developing the budget for the 2010 year. Um, and this is a process that begins in July with building our strategic initiatives and ends in January with implementation. And we do this on a down to a manager level and get a lot of input from our um, executives and vice presidents and managers around the hospital. All through college I had worked in the banking industry and I had always planned that I would continue that path working through college um, but I got the opportunity to work in healthcare and now have been there for three years in the healthcare industry and I feel that is a stable industry to work in and it's, and it's been a great experience for me got this job right out of school. I started in July of 2006 here at Altman. Um, How did you find out about it? I actually found out about it online through the online um, application process through Altman and with the help of Becky Doak and Career Services at Mount Union um, was able to secure my position here. The healthcare field is, is a very diverse field and not being a clinical person, it's very interesting to work in this field because you learn all of the healthcare lingo and, and the terminology that the healthcare professionals use um, while working in the finance setting. And I've always known that I wanted to work in finance, um, but now putting the healthcare twist on it, the industry is so different from other industries. Um, it's been a great experience. Yeah, I focus in an area of the law where we work in wills and trusts and do estate administration so people who call me are, are worried about passing away or have someone who recently has passed away so in the area of the law that I work in I get to get a great opportunity to help people through some really tough times uh, or try to help them through some really tough times and that's a, an extremely fulfilling experience being able to relate to people because of that in a way that's that's very genuine as I, I try to do every day um, it's something else you've got to learn through a very experience, and uh, Mount Union is a good place to do that. Understanding how to relate to people, knowing that, that you can express to them how much you care about them, and genuinely uh, being interested in their experience is something I think the small school is uh, really good at doing, and I, I hope you have the same experiences too. If I was going to give advice to freshmen who are starting out, one of the things that I would say is uh, that being involved on campus is really, really important. If you're a member of a, an athletic team, for example, that's not necessarily going to be something that you directly use in your daily life. I was a swimmer, and um, none of my clients have asked to see me in a swimsuit, so I don't know that that relates directly. <laughs> uh, but the things that I did learn uh, as a swimmer, being competitive, again, relating to people, uh, and uh, being in a position where I could work together as a team to try to get something accomplished, those were skills that were very, very helpful. And the same has been true for almost everything, almost any one of the organizations that I was able to be a part of when I was at campus. I would say to take advantage of all the different opportunities that Mount Union offers um, through the business and career development office. To the incoming freshmen, um, please enjoy your time, have a great time, use all the resources available to you, your professors, your individual advisors, the career center, athletic facilities, everything, have a great time, learn everything you possibly can learn, take every class, whether it's aerobics class or astronomy, because you will learn or be able to use something for it, and remember everything. Keep a journal, and have a great time.